we are going to be catching fish on what you don't want to catch. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my. did you guys see that? I, I don't know what's so dangerous about the fishing lure. Oh, shoot. What up, fishing pals? It's Angel Angler X. And today, we are going to be catching fish on what you don't want to catch. Okay guys, so today I went on eBay and I bought this package from this guy named Anonymous. I know it's kind of weird, but he said to wear gloves and a mask. I don't know why, but let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so yeah, here I am with the mask and gloves. I don't understand why, I really don't. Wait, do you guys hear that? Oh shoot! Oh my god, guys, it says danger on it. Why? It's just a fishing lure. Okay, guys, let's just open it up. I'm, I'm kind of confused here. Uh, okay, it came in a little bag. Uh, okay, this is so weird, guys. I, I don't know what's so dangerous about a fishing lure. Oh, shoot. Uh, guys, take a little close look at this. Yeah, does it kind of remind you of something? I don't know how someone managed to turn you know what into a fishing lure what in the world uh let me go ahead and open it up all right guys i finally got this thing open and yeah it's pretty much what you think it is i don't know how someone managed to turn this thing orange and even just got it this big all right guys so obviously this is a joke uh yeah as you can see i don't need to wear any mask and all that you guys know it's a joke and by the way look at the description for every single video i have timestamps and everything there uh, if you like the songs, I have links to the songs. Alright, so enough of me yapping. Let's go fishing with this interesting looking lure. Okay guys, so right here I'm actually going to be using this lure. It is so tiny. Look at this thing. This thing is so tiny. So yeah, I'm actually going to be using the slab stick with that. It actually, there's no reel on it. So this is going to be interesting. You guys, the yellow on this thing is just amazing. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to be quiet if I can. So right here... Uh, I'm just gonna let it drop and then just sort of pop it. I don't want it going too close to the ground Just because this is the only one I have and it costs six dollars for this microscopic lure. Oh, oh, I think so. I'm gonna try to get it. Oh, oh, yeah Oh, my! you guys see that? That bluegill. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this thing works, but uh, oh my gosh guys That was crazy a flipping uh bluegill just came right off of it. I guess I did I guess with these hooks you have to really drive it in I, I thought with smaller hooks you, you don't have to drive it in as much. That rarely happens to me when I use the bigger hooks. Oh my gosh, that was a fish. That is crazy, guys. Oh, 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 something almost got it again. Oh man, this is crazy. You see, this is actually ultra light action, so it makes like a bluegill feel like a flipping blue catfish. It's crazy. This reminds me a lot of the time when I use that surf rod here. You can check that video if you want, but it's when I actually use a flipping surf rod. Oh, 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 there's something on. And... We landed him, we landed him, all right. Challenge complete, this is all we had to do. Oh, this is our first sunfish of the year. So, hey little buddy, hey, how you doing? Very glad you bit. So yeah, these this will work really well for bluegill. Here, let me show you him in the high definition camera. All right guys, here's a better camera, and look at this. Oh, his colors are amazing. He's an awesome little bluegill. All right, but actually, no, he's not a bluegill, he's a, he's a sunfish. You're an awesome buddy, uh, red breast sunfish. I haven't caught one of these in a while. Not a red breast sunfish. There's so many different types of sunfish. The hook should be pretty easy to get out. It's so small. And that was very easy. I'm, usually I have to shove the hook down his throat. Oh, I guess he's still stuck. Don't spine me. Please don't. I don't like any be spine yet. It hurts. Well, oh, yep. It came out. That was easy. I guess I was underestimating how easy that would be. All right, buddy. Bye, fishy. Grow big. All right, guys. That was awesome. Let's catch more. For dangerous lure, it kind of works well. I'm catching fish on what you don't want to catch. I love that saying. Yeah, for me personally, whenever I catch one bluegill, there's always more in the area. Yeah, bluegill, oh, 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 see something hit it. That is why I love bluegill fishing. The action is just so high. You're catching fish like every five seconds on the best day. Oh my gosh, I'm serious. Like sometimes you can catch them like every flipping like five seconds. It really just depends on what body of water. So. All right, so that first fish was absolutely crazy. We gotta catch another. Maybe that was only bluegill in this area. Maybe. All right, then let me go ahead and try slightly different. Oh, but see, it's the first water bug of the year. That's cool. I guess on, even on a cold day like this, bluegill are like, okay, give me food. 
It's maybe really, really short. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh! Oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? This hole is huge! Oh my gosh! Oh! That was nuts! Okay, there's a dangerous hole here. Let me go ahead and remove these weeds so people can see it. That is a tripping hazard right there. I thought I was going to lose my shoe and then, and then I thought, hey, I was going to get bit by some kind of snake or something. Oh! oh shoot! That's a big... Oh my gosh, guys, that's a pretty big fish. Yeah, guys, so I caught a, another fish. All right, how long are you, buddy? You're kind of bigger. Oh, man, it is windy out here. Oh, man, my, my flipping tripod wants to fall. Okay, okay, you're about seven inch. You're a good one, you're a good one. Bye, buddy. Alright guys, that was a crazy day. I enjoyed it. And you know, we caught a couple nice fish there. So, you know, I'm not saying it's like the best day ever, but hey, it was a lot of fun. So, I'm sorry that I uh, kind of skipped last week's video. I'm very sorry about that. But there's two reasons why that happened. One, I had a lot of acting uh, potential jobs that week. So a lot of agents were giving me so many jobs that week that I just did not have time for anything else. And secondly, The thunderstorms and everything were absolutely crazy. It was like raining for, it felt like seven days in a row. Uh, sometimes it was like light rain and other times it was like heavy rain with thunderstorms. It was absolutely crazy. So I'm very sorry about that. But hey, since you stuck around this long, so you know, I know for a fact that you like watching my videos. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And uh, you know, since you're kind of sticking around, let's just talk about this whole entire thing for a while and how it can really affect fishing. All right. Uh, I live in Virginia personally, so it doesn't really affect me that poorly, but if you are um, trapped inside because of this whole entire thing going around right now, uh, what you can do is that you can actually go in your backyard and just practice the cast. You can just uh, make sure you're rigged up. Uh, you know, you can learn new techniques. There's all sorts of things you can do uh, when it comes. You can like have like a little pothole or something like that, and you can practice a cast into that pothole. Uh, you can just learn all sorts of things when it comes to fishing, and then whenever you're able to go out, you can go out and fish. And if you're able to still go outside and fish, then go outside and fish. You know, have some goals. That's some things uh, I would recommend for you to do. Just set some goals for yourself. Say like, hey, I want to catch this new species. Like for me, this year, I want to catch my first pike. My first uh, uh, long nose gar. I believe that's what they call it. Yeah, yeah, that's what they call them. Long nose gar. Musky. You know, I want to catch my first blue cat. I was supposed to last year, but it just did not work out. So, and my first channel cat, I was supposed to do that last year as well, but hey, it didn't work out. So, and I also want to catch my first 10 pounder, if that's possible. I'm most likely going to catch my first 5 pounder. And you know, I'll just set all sorts of goals for yourself and everything like that. So, um, I'm really sorry for this whole entire thing. It's just crazy. Uh, luckily, uh, when it comes to fishing, uh, in most states at least, it, it's still one of those things that's not affected that much. But like I said, if you're trapped, doesn't mean you can't do anything that involves fishing. You can still practice the cast in your backyard. And I know Amazon shipping is uh, a little crazy, uh, but you know, maybe if you don't have your first rod, you know, an ugly sick GX2 will be a perfect combo. And then you can just practice cast and cast, even though that's a spinning rod and you know, most, most of them are anyways. And you know, you would, uh, they're hard. Spinning rods are not as accurate as bait casting rods, but still, you can still practice the cast far distance. If you have like a really long backyard, but uh, I'm very sorry for this whole thing. It's just absolutely crazy. Uh, I just uh, pray to God that you'll get through this thing. And we all will. It's just crazy. I just pray to God that, you know, you'll 
Find ways to entertain yourself. I feel like that's one of the things that's uh, crazy about this whole thing. It's not necessarily how to protect yourself. It's easy. Get masks. You know, there's all sorts of things you can do. Um, but it's really the mental state that I'm more focused on than the actual thing itself. I mean, I just keep do all the safety precautions, but it, it's simple. You know, you take do the safety precautions, wash your hands, blah, blah, blah. You know, you heard it a million times. You don't need to be saying it, even though I just said it. But yeah, um, when it comes to the whole mental thing, you know, that's a totally different story. I've been rambling for about four minutes, but hey, it's at the end of the video, so I'm okay with it. And it's talking, and you know, the, the video itself is related to this, so I feel okay with doing that this time. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hey, you're able to comment, right? So uh, let me know how this experience affects you when it comes to fishing. If you want to. You don't have to, obviously. If you don't want to, then... Uh, and at the same time, you don't want to comment, but you want to support the channel, then all you have to do is just hit like and subscribe to the channel, okay? That's all you have to do. It's really, really will support the channel. Uh, that's, it really motivates me as well. So it's just one of those things, if you like these kind of videos, it really motivates me. The one to just push forward. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I already said that, but hey, let me go ahead and say it again. Well, see you guys next time. Later. They say I'll keep on searching for my own